What's up, everybody? I'm Nesson.com's Ricky Doyle, joined here by Nesson.com's Sam Galanis. Sam, Hall of Fame voting results were announced this week. Ken Griffey Jr. and Mike Piazza getting in. But I don't know about you, but one thing I'm a little ticked off about is the fact that Ken Griffey Jr. wasn't a unanimous selection. I feel like this is a, this is a redundant thing now. You know, I feel like Pedro should have been unanimous. Greg Maddox should have been unanimous. Why are there no unanimous selections in the Hall of Fame? Well, I think it comes down to people looking at these guys and saying that they're going to get in anyway, and they want to vote for someone else, either to try to get someone else in or to try to keep someone else on the ballot. But what it really comes down to is they should just vote for these guys because if you can't get 5% to stay on the ballot, they're not a Hall of Famer. Right. Or you have 10 years on the ballot. So if you can't get in in 10 years, again, you're probably not a Hall of Famer. Yeah. I mean, let's not rule out blind stupidity, too. I mean, there's some dumb people in this world, and I'm sure a few of them are cast at a ballot each year. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an issue. It's the Hall of Fame voting process in general just kind of annoys me. I don't know about you. It just, I feel like it's the type of thing where we're judging morals and all this thing. And uh, the whole unanimous selection process just kind of it kind of adds to it. I don't know. It's maybe it's, it's a little pet peeve of mine, I guess. Yeah, no, it definitely should just come down to is he or isn't he? Is he a Hall of Famer or is he not a Hall of Famer? You don't necessarily need to go into this big debate. Well, his war in 1980 was not, it was lo the lowest in the league. You don't need to get into things like that. It's just, was he a Hall of Famer? And that should be it. Right. Griffey left off three ballots, so for those three voters, shame on you. <laughs>